Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Investor Bros, the show where we check out things we legally shouldn't. I'm Ethan, here with Junior. Hey, last time we got seven views. If we can get 12 by the end of the stream, then uh, uh, we'll burn down this forest. We're not doing that. We're here tonight to find Grace Summer's campsite. Grace Summer disappeared 19 years ago in these very woods. Hey guys, I think I found something? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Looks as old as my grandma. Oh, so very old. And that's not funny. My grandma, I'll have you know, was in Nam. Looks like a book. No. Really? <sighs> Looks like trash to me, dude. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Did check Wh this out. Whoa! Thank you, Ghost Boy Beyonce. 161 for donating. 32 bits? That's crazy. Oh my god. Can we get some ghost icons up in the chat, please, for our queen of pop Beyonce? You know, Junior, that's not the real Beyonce, right? I gotta be such a buzzkill, man. Just go ahead and run, Jesse. You can't get away from us. You get to call your mommy to save you? Yeah, I bet you'd love to see the wimp you turned out to be. Yes, yes, please. Oh, uh, what about the chem notes? Baby? No, cash, cash, please, cash! These kids have been antagonizing my son for weeks and you've done nothing. Mr. It's Peters. unacceptable. Mr. Peters, I understand your concern, but there... You need to do something about this before someone gets hurt. Tom, there is only so much that we can do. We are following the school policy. Unfortunately, until I get some type of first-hand evidence, I can't do anything about it. Come on, Jesse, let's get out of here. Jesse, you've been getting in trouble a lot lately. Dad, there's nothing wrong. I know you're worried and all. Is it that Waterton girl again? If it is, I'm gonna talk to her and her parents. It has nothing to do with her. Well, you need help with something because you keep on making mistakes, you keep on getting in trouble. Will you stop and put that phone down for one second? Is there something on that phone that I need to know about? No, everything's fine. There's nothing. Listen, your friends, never talk about them, never hear about them. What, what's going on? I'm fine. There's nothing to talk about. You know I meant what I said, right? Yeah. Jesse, I know it sounds cliche. They use the line in movies all the time. You can talk to your dad, but I mean it. You can talk to me about anything. Dad, I know you mean it. I'm, I'm just worried about you, Jesse. You know, what would your mom think about this? I mean, I know it's hard. You're right. I'm sorry, Dad. Me too. Me too, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, uh, oh, um, sorry. Didn't realize anyone else went this way. Uh, sorry, I don't usually take this path. Um, do you go to Rockland? Uh, uh yeah, I do actually. Uh, you? Yeah, uh, big school, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you there. Me either. Um, it was nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Jesse. Robin. Um, it was nice to meet you. Just Carly and her lackeys. What's she gonna do anyway? You'll be fine. Probably. No, it's just. What's she gonna do? She'll just get Cash and Gus to beat you up again. God, I'm so screwed. What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. Everything's good. If I guessed right, would you tell me? What? It's those bullies, isn't it? I've seen the way they treat you. They throw you around like it's nothing to them. Yeah, it's... it's gotten worse lately. I... I don't know what to do. Ignore it. People like that are all the same. Don't give them the satisfaction. Yeah, uh, I, I guess you're right. Thanks, Robin. I'm always here with you if you need someone to talk to. I know how it is. Thanks. I know I haven't known you long, but... <clears throat> Failed that damn chem test all because you did give us the notes, pipsqueak. Yeah, so what are you gonna do to make it up to us? Um, maybe you can make I'm a... gonna tell you what you're gonna do. Yeah! No, guys, we can talk about... you been? You dipped and left me with Carly the other day. I've been busy. You've been busy? You don't just leave someone to get pummeled and say, I've been busy. Well, you're not dead, so... You know what? Just forget it. Jesse. No! Robin, you left me. You're a coward! Why didn't you stand up for me? Or at least, I don't know, help me? I can't help you! <sighs> you know what? 
Just forget it. Forget it. I need to meet up with Ethan and Junior. At least they're not pretending to be my friends. Jesse, wait, Jesse. I'm sorry. I know you're upset. You have every right to be, but I know you still want answers about your mom. You don't know it yet, but you're onto something big. There's a bunch of old newspapers at the library. They might help. It's, won't make up for yesterday, but it's something. some real evidence. I think we're coming on a major breakthrough. I don't know, man. We got a whopping. Oh, no, drum roll. Okay, 37 viewers on our last video. Ethan, love your input, but reel it in. We need to take this more seriously. All right, but it's a lot less fun when we do it your way. I don't know, man. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with this investigation of yours. I say we just give up and go back to live streaming. What, we got like 40 viewers last time? Are you seriously recording this right now? Hey, be careful. I'm just trying to get some behind the scenes, you know, for our investor watch. Nice name. Have you seen Paranormal Detroit? They're like top on the charts. And we could be like them too if we just put in a little more commitment. Especially from you, man. That's all I'm saying. Hey, look at this. I think this might get us somewhere. How old is it? I don't know, like 20, 40 years old. 18? Don't just sit there, pass it over. That's helpful. Well, come on, I'm not a psychic, man. What's it say? Sorry. Rockland High and Dorfield College students still missing. Search efforts by the Dorfield Sheriff's Department to locate students Cyrus Butler, Alain Crawford, Grace Summer, and Melinda Peters came up empty. Any person who has any information regarding the whereabouts of a missing student is encouraged to contact the Sheriff's Office with any information that they may have. This is it. Time periods line up, all the pictures are here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely spooky. That's her, isn't it? Hey, check this one out. The search for Grace Summer disappeared October 3rd has so far been unsuccessful, although police in all neighboring cities have been asked to be on the lookout. Summer left for the weekend trip and has been traced up to the Dorfield campground. The Dorfield police are stumped by the sudden group of disappearances, and one officer, Thomas Peters, says this is the most mysterious thing we've ever seen. That's the most mysterious thing? Hey, wasn't your dad on the force? I swear his name was Tom. Yeah, he... he doesn't talk about it much. Not after my mom... well, you know. Keep looking.
Thank you.